polished. Cabin, ready. Final item, take of data. Runway 16, valid. Or take of check is complete. Check. Okay guys, hi. Um, I'm in the simulator with uh, Raymond and Richie. These guys uh, have just finished their instrument rating and they both passed. And uh, Raymond would like to practice, because we've got a little bit of extra time, he would like to practice an engine fire on takeoff. So we're gonna do that. We're on the ground in Macau. If you look out there, we're in Macau. We're going to be taking off on runway 16. So, two types of engine fire. You can have an engine fire with failure as well, or you can have an engine fire without a failure where the engine is still developing thrust. So it's on fire, but it's giving you thrust without actually failing. And the, the, the thrust will come off when the uh, pilots action the, the uh, checklist and pull the thrust back and deploy the uh, fire extinguisher into the engine. Each engine has a, one big fire bottle for use in, an, in the case of an engine fire. There's two engine fire bottles per wing on the 747-8. It's possible to use just one bottle for each engine, or you can use two bottles fired into one engine if the fire is severe and hasn't gone out on the first attempt. So you can use both bottles on one wing to go into one engine if there's a fire. The fire switches themselves are up here on the overhead panel, so there's the overhead panel. Here's a fire switch, one, two, three, four, obviously for four engines, and there's also an APU fire <coughs> switch there. We'll be doing an engine fire. There's the fire switches, as I said. Engine fire on one of the engines, either number four or number one, it doesn't matter. It's always an outboard engine in the simulator, isn't it, Raymond? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's never an inboard engine. Okay, let's uh, set it up here. Failures. Let's have a look here, fire. I'm on the fire page already, so fire protection. On the engine fires, if you have a look here, it says here, engine fire, one bottle, engine fire, two bottles, or engine fire, non-extinguishable. So non-extinguishable is the worst case where you fire both bottles into the engine, the fire continues, which requires an immediate return and emergency landing and get out of the aeroplane. So we, I can set up any of those. So I'm going to set up where they have to fire two bottles into the engine. So I'll select that now. What engine? Let's see what's a good engine to give them. And the speed, I'll set it up to come up at the speed of one, two, nine, insert. So it's all set up there, all set, execute. There we go. So it's set. Engine fire is gonna go over there at that speed. Okay, guys, are you ready? Engine fire. Okay. Okay. Cafe 528, clear to line up, runway 16. The wind is 160 at 10 knot. 16 line for white headlight, 528. Just lining up now. Okay, Raymond, uh, Cathay, 5 to 8, the wind, 160 or 10 knots, runway 16, clear for takeoff. 16, clear for takeoff, Cathay, 5 to 8. Set thrust. Okay, just setting the thrust, and he's going to select the toga. Toga. Thrust comes up and we're off. Thrust in.
Zero. Oh man. Shoot. Fire engine four. Check fire engine four. Stand by. So we'll get that fire warning bell as well. Press straight for VNAV speed. Shoot. Confirm the failure. Fire engine four. Check fire engine four. Fire engine four memory items. Engine four thrust lever. Check. It brings the thrust lever back slowly to allow the pilot flying for control of the aeroplane, putting the rudder in. Final. Engine four fuel control switch. Check. Cut off. That engine is now cut off. Yeah. And it reaches up here. Engine 4, power switch. Check. Message remains. Fire on the bottle. And it's just fire the bottle now. And if you look up here, it says bottle discharge. And over here, it tells you bottle low right engine. Hey, has been discharged. So the fire switch is pulled and then rotated. Discharge position. So, flaps 10. Speed check. Flaps 10. Outside on the engine, if you're watching, you people might see an aeroplane departing and maybe flames coming out of the exhaust or something or around the engine. That's what's going on. Speed check. Flaps 4. The pilots are flying. He could use the autopilot, but he'd like to fly it manually, that was his request, so we'll let him fly it manually, as he's doing now, he's doing a good job. Right. 30 seconds, message remains. Check. After 30 seconds, we still have engine fire indication, which means they have to fire a second bottle. Okay, go ahead. So he takes the same handle, fire switch there, and rotates it the other direction. That fires the second bottle into the set. So now both bottles are discharged, A and B. Both discharged into engine number four. So what would happen now is we'd talk to ATC, let them know we had an engine fire. The important thing is to fly the aeroplane first, get it safe, advise ATC, we'd like to return, or if we we're very heavy, we'd jettison the fuel and then uh, come back and do an emergency landing. So that's what's going on here. Autopilot's available. Autopilot's engaged, there you are. Command. That's a good job. Should I put you on final and do a landing? Three engine? Okay. Sounds good. I'll put you on final. Okay, so what's happened is we did the engine fire. We, had, uh, we did the checklist. We fired two bottles into engine number four. We've sorted that out because the fire went out. We've done our emergency procedure checklist and decided to return to Macau. And Raymond is on a base leg to land on runway 16. They're just setting it up, so if you look out there, there's runway 16 over there. So we're going to come in and make a left turn to land on there. There we are. When you're ready, Raymond. Yeah. We can do the landing. It's just a visual thing, just uh, do a visual one. Uh, yeah, just, just go in and uh, a landing. There you go, there's cabin. I've in increased the visibility a bit to make it nice and visual. So there you go. Okay. Ready? All good. As ready as you can be, I suppose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're flying. Clear to land. Wind is 160 at 10 knots. Okay. So 
it's a three engine landing, number four engine has failed. So what would happen is all the emergency services would probably come up to the airplane and check it out and would stop here. If the fire has restarted, we might end up evacuating and so on. That's what goes on. And ATC are always very helpful. They give you every single runway available for you to land if things like that happen. Later. <laughs> 